this is how you can make an advanced ticket system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before we start i would like to say that memberships are available on my channel you can get these memberships by clicking the join button next to my name or clicking the link in the description if you purchase the super god tier or custom bot tier you'll get access to pay spins meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos directly into your bot or website so that you don't actually have to type it out if you purchase a custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this seems interesting to you go ahead and join the channel today and let's go ahead and get started with the ticket system all right so we're going to go ahead and start off by setting the ticket so we can go to moderation and we can do ticket setup.js we're going to start by defining a couple of things so we can do const we'll do permissions bit field we can do embed builder channel type action row builder and select menu builder then we can do equals require and we'll get discord.js. One more thing, we are going to add the slash command builder as well. Now we're going to go ahead and define our ticket schema. Just keep in mind, you are going to have to go ahead and create this. So this is what your ticket schema has to look like. Make sure you have MongoDB set up. If you don't, go ahead and watch the video in the description below. Call it ticket schema right here and just go ahead and make sure this data looks like mine. So we can actually define it. So we need to do ticket schema equals require. We'll do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas and then we can get our ticket schema just like that. Now we can do module.exports equals, we'll open this up, data new slash command builder. We can do dot set name. We're gonna make this ticket and set. We'll do dot set description. For the description, we can say this sets up the ticket message and system, just like that. We can add a channel option. We're gonna get our option, arrow function, option dot set name. For the name, we're gonna get our channel. For our description, we can say the channel we want to send the ticket message in. We can do dot channel types, or add channel types. We'll do channel type dot guild text. So we're actually gonna go ahead and copy all of this. We can go ahead and paste it down here. We're gonna change this to category. And then for our description, we can go ahead and replace this with the category you want the tickets to be sent in and just like that we're going to change this to guild category we can add a comma we're going to do async executes we'll do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up all right so now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our permissions checked so we can do if in no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator we can just return wait interaction dot apply do content and for our content we can say you must have admin to set up tickets then we can make this informal so epa gmrl true after doing that we can get both the channel and the category variables so we can do const channel equals interaction dot options dot get channel and in here we're just going to get the channel and we can do the same thing we can just go ahead and copy this paste it down here this will be our category and we're also going to get the category in here as well all right so now we can go ahead and open up our ticket schema so we can do ticket schema to find one and we will do guild and for our guild we'll do interaction .guild ID. we can add a comma async error and data we'll open this up so we're going to say if no data we can open this up we'll do ticket schema create in here we can do guild we will do interaction .guild ID. we can do channel and for our channel we will do category .id. And then we can do ticket and we're just going to set this to first. Now first is a temporary thing because we are going to actually change ticket to something else later. Then we can say else. We can open this up. We'll do a with interaction to our apply and we'll say content. And we can say you already have a ticket message set up you can run slash ticket disable to remove it and restart now we can come down here and simply return just like that we're going to come out of here and we're going to define our embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and this is going to be the ticket embed so we can do dot set color we'll set this to blue we can do dot set title and for our title we can say ticket system we can do dot set description in here we can say if you have a problem open a ticket to talk to staff members just like that we can add a footer so set footer and we'll do text and in here we can say interaction dot guild dot name and then we'll do tickets just like that all right so now we can actually go ahead and create our menu so we can do const menu equals new action row builder we're going to go ahead and add components we'll open this up in here we're going to do new select menu builder and we can do set custom id and for that we're going to do select we'll do that set max value and that is going to be one then we can set a placeholder so set placeholder 
And for this, we can say select a topic. Now we can add options, so add options. The first option that we're gonna add is going to be our label. And the label, I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy an emoji, so this will just be any emoji you want, but I'm gonna put that in, and I'm gonna say general supports. Now I'm gonna set the value. Now this is important. The value is what's gonna display in the ticket message. Uh, so I'm gonna set the value to subject and general support. So we can actually go ahead and copy this. We'll paste it down here. We can replace this with moderation supports. We can change this to moderation support, just like that. One more thing, just make sure you add a comma here. So we can copy this again. We'll paste it down here. And I'm going to say server support, just like that. This will be server support. And we'll copy this again. Now in here, I'm just going to set this to other. So I'll do an emoji and I'll do other and I'm just gonna replace this with other. Now keep in mind, these are generic ticket subjects. If you'd like, you can set up a schema that saves whatever you want so the user can actually customize what they want in their ticket. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not actually gonna do that. I'm just gonna make generic ones. All right, so now we can send our messages. So we can do await channel.send and we'll do embeds and we can do embed and we can do components. And for our components, we'll do menu just like that. Now we can go ahead and reply. So we can do await interaction.reply and we can say content and we will say your ticket system has been set up in and then we can get our channel just like that and then we can set this to infermal so e-p-h-e-m-e-r-a-l and true just like that all right so now we're going to move on to the ticket disable command so to start off just go ahead and copy this we can go to moderation we can do ticket disable.js and we can go ahead and paste everything so we're going to go ahead and actually delete everything in here but the permission check and we can go ahead and delete both of these options right here. You are gonna need to go ahead and add a comma up there. We can go ahead and change this to disable and we can say this disables the ticket system. So now we can come down here and do ticket schema dot delete many. We'll say guild, we'll do interaction dot guild ID. We can do comma async error and data and we'll open this up further. We can say await interaction dot reply and we'll say contents and we can say your ticket system has been removed and then we can just go ahead and make this informal as well so that's actually all we have to do for this command so now we're actually going to go ahead and define everything within the index.js so that the ticket system actually works so we're going to go ahead and come in here and we're going to go ahead and start off by defining our ticket schema so we can do const ticket schema equals choir and we'll do dot slash schemas and then we can get our ticket schema just like that we're gonna make a client on event so client on we can do events interaction create async interaction and we can go ahead and open this up so we're gonna say if interaction dot is button uh, then we can just go ahead and return and we're gonna say if interaction dot is chat input command we can also just return and we're gonna go ahead and make a model so we can do const model equals new model builder you do not set title for our title we're gonna say provide us with more information and just like that we can say a custom ID and this is gonna be a model now we're gonna go ahead and get our inputs so the first input Input is going to be our email so we can do const email equals new text input builder we can do dot set custom ID and this will be email then we can do dot set required and this is gonna be true we can do dot set label and for our label we can say provide us with your email and then we can do dot set placeholder and this is gonna say you must enter a valid email and we can do set style and this is gonna be text input style dot short just like that now we're actually gonna go ahead and copy this we can go ahead and paste it down here we're gonna go ahead and change this from email to username um, and then we can change this to username and we can provide us with your username. In here, we can say this is your username, just like that. Then we can go ahead and copy this. We'll paste it down here. We're gonna go and change this to reason, reason down here as well. The label is going to be the reason for this ticket. And in here, we can say give us a reason for opening this ticket, just like that. So we can go ahead and define these things. So we can do const first action row equals new action row builder we can do dot add components and in here we can do our email we can go ahead and copy this and paste it down here 
We're gonna do second action row. And in here, we're gonna get our username. We're gonna go ahead and paste it one more time. And this is gonna be our third action row. And in here, we're gonna get our reason and just like that. So we're actually gonna go ahead and add these components to the model. So we do model that add components. And in here, we'll get our first action row, second action row, and our third action row, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and actually do some more stuff with the model. So we can say let choices. We'll go down here and we'll do if interaction is select menu. We can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna do choices equals interaction dot values. Then we can say const results equals choices dot join and we'll put a string in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and find our schema. So we can do ticket schema dot find one. And in here, we're gonna go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be interaction.guild.id. Then we can go ahead and do async error and data, and we can go ahead and open this up. Down here, we're gonna make our filter. So we can do const filter equals, we'll open this up, guild. For our guild, we'll do interaction.guild.id. Then we can go ahead and do const update. For our update, we're gonna say ticket and we're gonna update that to result. Now we're gonna come down here and actually update the schema. So we can do ticket schema dot update one. And here we can say filter and we'll do update and then we can go ahead and open this up. We'll say new and we're gonna make this true. Now for some reason, if we don't do this next step, it's not gonna work, I don't know why. So we're just gonna do it anyways. We can do dot then value, we can open this up and we can just go ahead and say console.log value. So now we can come out of this logical statement right here and we're gonna say if no interaction dot is model submit, we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna say interaction dot show model and we'll make our model in here. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our actual handling of all of this data. So we're gonna make a new client dot on event. So we're gonna do client dot on. We'll do events dot interaction create. We'll do async interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna do if interaction dot is model submit. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna say if interaction dot custom ID equals equals model and we'll open this up as well. Now we're gonna do ticket schema dot find one and we'll do guild and we can say interaction dot guild dot ID and we'll open this up so we can do comma async error and data and again we'll open this up. And here we're gonna go ahead and get all of our inputs. So we can do const email input equals interaction dot fields dot get text input value. In here we can go ahead and get our email text input value. Now we can go ahead and copy all of of this paste it down here we'll replace the email with username input just like that we can replace that with username we can go ahead and copy and paste it one more time and we're gonna replace that with reason input and we can go ahead and replace this with the reason. Now we can go ahead and do const pos channel equals await interaction dot guild dot channels dot cache dot find and we'll do c arrow function c dot name we do equals 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 and we're gonna go ahead and get ticket and then we can do dash we'll do interaction dot user dot id just like that. Now we can say if no pos channel we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply. We're gonna say content for that we can say you already have a ticket open we can do dash pos channel and then we can do comma eph email and we're gonna do true just like that one more thing i did mess up don't do if no pos channel just remove that exclamation mark just like that now we can say const category equals data dot channel and then we can say const embed equals new embed builder just like that we can set a color blue we're gonna go ahead and set a title for our title, we can do interaction.user.username. Then we can do an S and we can say ticket. Now we can set a description. For the description, we're gonna say welcome to your ticket. Please wait while the staff review your information. Now we can go ahead and do add fields. We'll do name, say email, and then we can do comma value. And we're gonna go ahead and set the value to email input. So we don't have to type all of this out again. We can just go ahead and copy and paste it down here. We'll say username. And we're gonna go ahead and get our username input just like that. We'll paste it one more time. We can go ahead and get our reason and we're gonna go ahead and get our reason input as well. Now, one more thing we're gonna add is we're gonna actually add a type, and for the type, we're gonna go ahead and do data.ticket. So we can actually go ahead and do dot set footer, we'll do text, and in here, we can say interaction.guild.name, and then we can do tickets just like that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create our button. So we can do const button equals new action row builder. We can do dot add components. We can go ahead and open this up, we'll do new button builder. 
and we can go ahead and say set custom ID and this is going to be ticket and then we can do dot set label and for our label we're going to go ahead and actually copy and paste a trash can emoji in there because that looks a little bit better for what we're trying to accomplish here so we're going to go ahead and paste that in and we're going to say close ticket just like that and then we can say set style and this is going to be button style dot danger just like that so now we can actually go ahead and create the channel so we can do let channel equals await interaction dot kill dot channels dot create we can go ahead and open this up in here we can do name and that is going to be our ticket dash interaction dot user dot id and then we can add a comma we can come down here and we can say type and that is going to be channel type dot kill text then we can add a comma, we'll do parents, and that is just gonna be our category. All right, so now we can come down here and do let msg equals await channel dot send and we can do embeds and we can get our embed and then we can do comma components and we're going to go ahead and get our button just like that now we can do await interaction dot reply and we can say content we will say your ticket is now open in and then we can do channel and then we can go ahead and make this informal so now we can come down here and do const collector equals msg dot create message component collector and then we come down here and turn that on so collector dot on we'll do collect we can do async i we can go ahead and open this up we can do a semicolon then we can go ahead and open up parentheses we'll do a wait channel and then we can do dot delete and then we can close that off now we can actually go ahead and copy this embed so we don't have to type it all out again we can go ahead and paste that in i'm going to go ahead and format it as well now we can go ahead and change this to DM embed. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove everything except for the footer, description, and the title because the title is going to go ahead and be your ticket has been closed. And then we can say in here, thanks for contacting us. If you need anything else, feel free to create another ticket just like that. We can also add a timestamp, so set timestamp. And we can actually go ahead and send this to the members. We can do await interaction.member.send. We can do embeds and we can go ahead and do DM embed just like that. We can also catch an error just like this and we can just go ahead and return. Before we actually start, one thing that I forgot to do in the ticket setup is go ahead and make both of these options required. So we can do dot set required and we can make this true and we can go ahead and do the same thing down here. So set required and we'll make this true as well. Now one more thing that you should do is you can actually copy all of this code from the embed down and go ahead and paste it in the ticket schema just so that when this return works it's actually going to stop everything else from happening with that we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can run slash ticket set just like this and we can go ahead and select our channel which is going to be where the ticket message is sent to so that's going to be create a ticket just like this and for the category this is going to be where the tickets are opened in so that's going to be the tickets category and we can go ahead and send it now as you can see it's going to say our you have a ticket message set up so i have to run ticket disable to remove it so what this means is before i was actually testing this meaning i already had a ticket message set up so this is a perfect time to actually show off the ticket disable command so we can do ticket disable and we can just go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's gonna say your ticket system has been removed. So now we can actually go ahead and set one up. So ticket set, that's gonna be create a ticket. And that's gonna be tickets. And as you can see, it's gonna say your ticket system has been set up in create a ticket. If we go over to that channel, it's gonna go ahead and send that ticket embed that we went ahead and set up. And as you can see, it's gonna say I have general support, moderation support, server support, and other. Let's just go ahead and create an other support and it's going to go ahead and open up this model with all of the information I need to provide in it. So I'm going to say test email, test username, and I'm also going to go ahead and say test reason. Then I can just go ahead and click submit. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say my ticket is now open in tickets. If I go over here, it's going to say welcome to my ticket. Please wait while the staff review my information. It's going to go ahead and say my test email, test username, test reason. And it's going to go ahead and say the subject, which is what I selected in here, as you can see. So let's say I went ahead and tried to create another one of these. And I fill in all of this information. It's going to say you already have a ticket open. So this is going to prevent people from making multiple tickets. Now let's say we have this conversation and I go ahead and click close. It's going to go ahead and delete that ticket 
ticket, send me a message saying your ticket has been closed. Thank you for talking with us. We can just try this one more time. So let's say I want to open up one for general support. I'll provide my information just like that. It's going to go ahead and create my ticket and it's going to say my type is general support with all my information. And if I close out of it, I'm going to get that DM and the ticket is going to go away. So that's how you can make a ticket system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out with your code. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.